Mirth. Today I'll be showing you one way to use Inkscape along with Tinkercad to manipulate your 3D objects through a vector editing program. I started off with my workspace as usual in the isometric view as I preferred and I always like a little ruler down here. So let's uh, see some of the cool things you can do here. One, uh, let's go to Google Images download a picture we want to use. How about that one? Then you right click it and save as. And you can save it in the location you want to work with. Uh, and then go to Inkscape. This is Inkscape. It's a free vector editing program. Uh, import and pick up our image. Now the amazing thing about Inkscape, to me, well, one of the many amazing things is its uh, ability to trace bitmaps. So, we are going to do that right now. And look, now, instead of that colored image, I've got a black and white vector version. It's not a rastered image anymore, it's a vectored one, which can be imported into Tinkercad. First I'm going to get rid of some of the parts I don't want. I don't need the Peugeot name there. I'm looking at it and I'm seeing these internal structures are going to cause some havoc. So I'll select this and then I'll get rid of these guys. And I think that'll about do it. Okay, so now there's nothing left. Uh, when you're working with Inkscape if you're going to be exporting to Tinkercad, you want nothing in your drawing but the thing you're exporting because it's not so good at exporting part of a drawing. So there's nothing left on the screen, nothing left on my page here except for the little Peugeot lion. So I select him and I go to Save As. And we're going to save it as Peugeot Traced as an SVG. And now we're back here in Inkscape. Sorry, in Tinkercad. So import, and we'll choose our little Peugeot now that he's been traced. Should pull it up without difficulty. Thinking, thinking. And there he is. A little Peugeot line. Now you could print that right away if you wanted to. Send that to your 3D printer. Uh, I forgot to get rid of these guys, this internal piece of neck muscle and this eye here, which will cause some trouble, uh, but well, let's just let it be for now. So let's show you one of the cool things you can do once you've got something ex imported. You can see it tends to give things uh, a 1 centimeter or 10 millimeter height. Um, you can, of course, adjust that as always in Tinkercad and you can scale the entire thing. You can group it with other objects, you can use it as a uh, hole to make the shape appear in other objects. Let's try that. So first let's shrink him down. He's way too big to be useful. Uh, as I was drawing the corners in I held down shift and alt so that it maintained the same scale and general location. And let's see, we had a I don't know, maybe we're making a medallion here or something. A necklace, who knows, maybe we really love Peugeot. Let's put a surface on here. So I press the W key to pull up this work plane icon. Then I can select my Renault icon and I hit D and it will raise it to be exactly the height of that workspace. Then I hit W again, select any place else. And it des destroys that workplace. So I could print that as is. Uh, maybe it would be kind of boring, but maybe I'd be able to sell it on Etsy to some real Renault fans. Uh, I could also turn it into a hole by selecting the lion, hitting H, and then lowering it into the surface. 
and if I select both together, hit Control G, it will subtract it. So now I've got my medallion with the Renault icon submerged into it. I don't know, maybe you want to make a cookie cutter mold or something. And I can hit Control Shift G and ungroup those. Then I've got it again. Uh, all kinds of ways to manipulate things. Oftentimes I'll find that there are things I want to do with a surface that are just too complex to do in Tinkercad itself. Uh, you can check out my other video on using SketchUp with Tinkercad, but some things uh, require a vector graphics program. So let's see, maybe I wanted to make some kind of spiral design uh, and I can duplicate this uh, and change some of its settings. Uh, I don't know, let's, let's make this one red so I can tell them apart. Oops, not that way. Set stroke, set fill, good. And select them both, I hit Control Shift A and I can align them. Now let's select just the red one and go back to the spiral program. I'm, I'm doing this for the first time as I'm talking so if things don't quite work out I beg forgiveness. I don't know, it's not looking much like a 3D object but maybe I can add to it. Uh, can I add to you? We may find ourselves with a whole lot of nothing here. Are you uh, gonna let me call you a object? Yeah, okay, well. It is something like an object. Let's, uh, sure, let's export that. Save as strange shape. I don't know, I could make this in Tinkercad, this odd shape, but uh, maybe I just found it quicker to do it in Inkscape. Choose my file, strange shape, import, and now I've got this thing which of course I can hold down shift and scale the corners and it'll stay the same relative dimensions and I don't know what I'd want to do with this but you get the idea that uh, if you are trying to manipulate things in a complex way for vector graphics Inkscape is a lot easier to use than the limited functions you have in Tinkercad how about fonts? Boy, the very limited font use in Tinkercad. We can do all kinds of neat things like, I don't know, flea bag. And let's say I want to make this a really cool font. Um, select in there, I hit Control A to select it all, and go to some cool font like Big Fish. Okay, maybe cool is the wrong word. Go to an interesting font like Galleon, if you're doing a pirate themed thing. Cool. Can I export this to Tinkercad? Let's find out. Again, I want to make sure there's nothing else in here because it's going to export the entire drawing when I do this. Save as... Let's just take over the name Strange Shape. Yep, replace it. And here we are back in Tinkercad import strange shape and do we have a flea bag printout yeah, this is trivial what I'm doing here but let's say you wanted to make a sign okay I didn't like importing that maybe it was too complex I think I have successfully imported text before but uh, it's been some time let's see if we can do one letter file save as strange shape replace it Import strange shape. 
go go gadget tinkercad you can do it oh it aired out all right I'm not sure the problem is there aha maybe I am let's see select this thing and go to path object to path in other once you do that I think it no longer considers the object a, uh, a font so you can no longer edit the font but I bet we can export it let's go save as strange shape save place back here this is gonna work fingers crossed you can do it import and yes okay so if I were so inclined I'm sure I could spell the entire flea bag this way so the relevant thing was in Inkscape once I had typed out what I wanted I had to set it to be a path path it okay select the object it's highlighted I'm gonna go to path object to path we're done we go to save as strain shape place get rid of this ugliness import choose a file strain shape open three two one boom path it so now I've got wow for some reason I wanted to print path it in a pirate font I would be ready to go okay so that uh, is a couple of ideas on how you might want to use Inkscape along with Tinkercad. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees, raise it, and maybe I wanted to put it in here. Again, I can make a whole lot of it, and I can group these guys. And then I've got Path It uh, cut out of my block. You'd never want to print in that orientation, of course, like this. And you'd have a beautiful print. Okay. Well, this has been Patrick at Tower of Mirth Video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe below and look for more tutorials. Mm -hmm.